I'm Rodney Hill. In this video, we're going to cover what happens when we change our SD card between some ICB or ITB tools. So if we take a look at the two tools I have right here, the tool I have a battery on um, has the, the wireless set up. The tool is powered up right now. And it also has a yellow socket on here that we'll use to show the difference between these two tools. These are the same two tool types. These are ICB A2115-10s with the HMI on the tool. So when I do the settings from one tool to another, it's going to move everything. It's going to move my P-sets, uh, my batches, um, all that information, except my network settings and my pin and my results and events. That will stay uh, the same on, on each tool the way it was. So let's get started here. If we take a look in the software, I'm on the home screen of the tool that's powered up right now. Uh, and we can take a look. I have some programs in my tightening menu. Um, I have five programs that I've created here and a loosening program. Um, I have some other things that I've set up here in the tool. Um, I've given it a name of ICBPE that you can see here at the top. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to power off the tool that I'm going to take the SD card out of. So I'll wait for the tool to power down. You can see the lights flash on the back of the tool. The tool will stay powered up for about 25 seconds, and that gives you a chance to change a battery uh, between uses of the tool, or if you're using the tool during production and you need to change a battery, the tool won't have to completely restart. It'll just start working again, right, as the, a new battery is attached to the tool. So as that completes here, I'm going to take the SD card from that tool. I have my second tool here that has an SD card in it. I'm going to go ahead and remove that right now. We'll take that out of the tool. And now that my other tool is, is powered down, let me, by all the lights are off so I can tell that it's off, I'm going to grab that SD card, move it over to the second tool, I'm going to put it in place. I'll feel it click in the SD card slot there, and I'm going to power this tool up. Now, if we look on the screen here, you can see that I'm not connected to the tool, and that's because we powered the tool off, so I've lost my, my wireless connection to that tool. So now this tool will start up, and you may see a couple different things happen here. So we'll see the red-green lights as the application loads on the tool. If the tool needs to do a software update or downgrade, the, uh, the software will do that, and you'll see what you see here, you'll see the white lights flash, the white direction arrows flash. That lets you know that it's updating the software on the tool. This might take uh, 30 seconds to a minute. Eventually, you'll see the red and green lights flash again, loading the application, and then the tool will come up, and we'll see the, the battery icon on the tool. So now we can see the red and green lights are flashing again on the tool. That lets us know that the application's loading. And when that completes here, I'll see uh, my, my battery icon light up, and I'll also see if I'm connected to wireless, my wireless icon come on in the blue color. It looks like a Wi-Fi symbol. So we'll give it a second here to complete this process. Now the tool is booted up. I can see that the battery icon on here, my EHMI is started up, and I see that I am connected to the same wireless network that I was connected to before. So on my computer here, I'm going to refresh the screen and load my web browser, and now I'm connected to the second tool. But what you'll see is all the settings, all the programs on this tool are the same as the first tool because those are all stored on our SD card. So my program names are all the same here and the settings. And if I look in the integrated controller tool menu, I'll see that this tool has the same name. So keeping your settings and changing those to another tool or replacing a tool that might have a hardware problem, very easy to do with the, with the SD cards from the tool. So in this video, we covered what happens when you change an SD card between tools. If you have any questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative, and thanks for watching.